my father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TT off from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a fully cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to play higher firmware Vita games on lower firmware. So such as if you own a 3.60 or 3.65 PS Vita and you wanted to play a game that requires 3.69 firmware, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to set up a plugin called ReFood and that will basically bypass any game that's on higher firmware so you can play it on a lower system via on a PS. TV or a PlayStation Vita device. With that being stated for today as well, I do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you'll know the latest hacking guides and tutorials for my channel. My goal is to always try to update with the latest news and hacking guides every single day on my channel. So the best way on how to know when I drop my latest content is by being subscribed to me, of course, hitting that notification button, and as well as following my Twitter. That's where I usually try to um you know update y'all guys and post my YouTube links once I uploaded my video. So I do recommend go ahead and follow my Twitter with all that um, stuff getting out the way in terms of social media We can go ahead and get started on my discord and if you guys do want to join my discord or my official community you can join via in the link in the description below or in the link that is showcased on the screen right now not only can meet new people from the hacking and modding scene but if you need support whether for this topic or if it's for like the vita ps4 ps tv uh playstation 3 and all that fun stuff you could get support via in my discord if you need any help in terms of setting up your modded device well that being stated as well if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patreon i recently made um you know my patreon two or three days ago so if you want to support my channel by signing up on patreon it helps with the overall development for my content since it does take a lot of time research and it takes you know a lot of time and terms of just uploading videos so you guys could watch on a daily basis so if you just want to support me i would be you know very appreciative if anyone could you know support me via by patreon and as well last but not least if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you can feel free to donate via my paypal i will have that in the link in the description as well with my patreon if you want to donate any money it doesn't have to be you know a lot it could literally be a dollar any donations that i receive will go straight back into my channel and it will help me buy things such as as a better you know microphone any software edit editing tools anything that will you know prolong this development of my channel and help me grow as you know a community so i can provide the best content for you guys to watch well, all that fun stuff getting out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on today's prerequisites for the playstation vita and anything that like i state in all my other videos will be in the download description below so i'm assuming that you already have a modded playstation vita that's already hacked via using the trinity h on core h on core 2 or the Hankaku method. You also need Vita Shell. You also need the uh, latest version of Auto Plugin at VBK. You also need a Fozilla FTP client or a USB cable, depending on how you want to transfer files over. For today, I'm going to be using Fozilla FTP client for this method. You need any Vita game that is higher than your firmware. So, for example, if you're on 3.60 firmware, which I am in this video, and I'll show you guys that in a little second, to see if the plugin works, um, all you got to do is get a game that requires a higher firmware. So such as Catherine, which is a 3.69 game. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using uh, Catherine for the PlayStation Vita, which is a 3.69 game. And I'm going to be showcasing that I could play it on 3.60. I just want to give a special thanks out to the uh, FAPS team and as well with Dots TB and anybody who helped them with this plugin. So shouts out to you guys and, you know, with all the development for this. So it wouldn't be possible without you. But don't forget, if you guys need any help, you can feel free to join the Discord and with with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PC side of things. Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on today's tutorial. So first things first, I'm assuming that you're already on a hacked device and you already have Vita Shell installed. If you don't already have Vita Shell installed, I will have the VPK of course in the link in the description below. But if you have to run Hon Core or Trinity Exploit, go ahead and do that. Since I'm on Hankaku Enzo, I don't basically have to do that step. But once you run Hankaku onto your system on whatever form you have to, just boot up Vita Shell and make sure your Wi-Fi is on. And then 
once from here guys what we need to do is go ahead and basically FTP or you transfer our file via with USB since we need to basically put auto plugin.vpk onto our system so the easiest way on how to do that is hit start on your system then from here if you scroll all the way down using your d-pad where it says select button if you hit left or right on your um d-pad whether if you're going to do USB connection make sure your um PS Vita of course is plugged in via with your USB cable that it came with for like what it to basically charge with into your PC if you're going to transfer files that way but for today I'm just going to be transferring files with my uh, FTP connection so make sure you have your Wi-Fi on and it's selected to FTP once you have that press circle and now what you want to do is hit select and now you should see your PlayStation Vita's um, IP address and also its port once you get to this step right here what we're going to do is transfer it to the PC and then now we're going to transfer it to auto plugin Alrighty guys, so since we're back on the PC and we got everything set up on the PlayStation Vita with the FTP server, what we're going to do is go ahead and transfer our game of choice that is over, you know, our said firmware. So I'm on 3.60 firmware, as I stated before, and I'm going to be transferring my game that's on 3.69. So I have Catherine, which is a Japanese game that came out way uh, later or after than 3.60 firmware was released. So this game requires 3.69 firmware as well. We have auto plugin.vpk, which is going to basically automatically install refood for us. And it's going to be way much easier than dealing with the config txt manually and adding, um, you know, the actual line of code. We need to type in the txt file. And as well, we don't have to install the plugin manually, whether and putting it in UX0 or Euro0. So what we need to do now is open up Fozilla FTP client. I'll have a link for this uh, program in the link in the description um, below. This is just a FTP uh, client that allows us to connect any device via with our IP. So that's what I'm doing right here. And it allows us to see all of our partitions files. So all we got to do is type in our Vita's uh, IP address. So where it says FTP on your Vita, all you got to do is type in the first four digits. And then for your port, all you got to do is click or type in 1337. It's always for the port for the Vita. Once you have that, you should um, connect to your PlayStation Vita successfully. Once you see all your directories, what we need to do is go into UX0 right here. And then where it says app, this is where our game has to go at. So assuming that you have a no NPDRM game and you have that installed as well, all we're going to do is drag it to app. Make sure it goes in the app and no other folder right here. So that's what I'm doing as of right now. So let me go ahead and showcase here. You see my game is getting transferred over right now. Now, if I back out of UX0 by hitting um, the two dots right here, what we're going to do is take our auto plugin.vpk and do the same thing and drag and drop it via with UX0. So as my game is now uh, transferring over all of its content data from the game itself, I'm just going to um, wait here. It does take a while for this game to do it since it's pretty large for a Vita size game. So I'm just going to cut the video right here so you won't have to you know, showcase all of this files getting transferred over. But once it's fully done, we're gonna go back to our PlayStation Vita, get refood set up, and then I'm gonna showcase that um, it is this game is now working on 3.60, even though it's a higher firmware game. So it's fairly simple on how to do this. It just takes kind of some time to get it set up. So I'll meet you guys back when it's done. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so as shown here, if I go into files of the FTP client, um, you can see that all of my um, files has transferred over. So my game has transferred over as well as auto plugin.vbk. What I'm going to do here is just exit out of files of the FTP client and then I'm going to showcase my PS Vita on the screen and we're going to go ahead and get everything started on that process. Alrighty guys, so we're back into Vita Shell as showcased here. What we need to do is go ahead and just cancel out of Vita Shell itself. And then once we do that, what we need to do is go ahead and back out to UX0 and just verify our game is in app. So what I'm going to do is go into app. And then if you guys remember your title ID for your game, we're just going to verify that it's in here. So here's my game right here. I'll go to open, um, no, excuse me, not open the crypt, but go into SCE underscore and then um, param.sfo. It will show me that this is Catherine right here. So I already know that this game is Catherine right here. So I already verified that my game is already, you know, resigned to um, UX0. What we need to do now, once we verified our game is an app, we need to go to auto plugin.vpk. So just install it as a normal package file. You should already have Henkaku settings um, enabled on so you could do this process. So I'm just waiting for it to um, do its thing right here. 
and then also well I'm gonna show you that my uh, system is on 3.60 uh, firmware I did forget to show you guys earlier in the video so I'm gonna show you guys that now once auto plug in that VPK so you I could prove that this method does work and you won't think that I'm am on you know 3.69 or like 3.72 for this process so let me just go ahead and wait for it till it's done shouldn't take too long but yeah, once uh, it's finished installing right here, I'm gonna go ahead and back out of VitaShell. We're gonna go into settings, go into settings again. I'm gonna go into my uh, system, system information. As shown here, I am on 3.60 firmware. So that was that. And now what I'm gonna also do is go ahead and back out of this as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and open up auto plugin.vbk so you'll probably see yours on basically um it'll be popping up in your live area i already had the um plugin already previously installed i just reinstalled it but this is the latest version all you would have to do is just open it up like a normal application and i'll take a little second for it to load if it's your first time i'll just basically back up your um config txt as shown here but all we got to do is go into plugins install plugins and we need to install some plugins off the get-go. So first plugin we're gonna go ahead and install is the main one for today, which is ReFood by Fab Team. And as stated here, it's basically a plugin to run programs that um do that doesn't get decrypted properly, and it also um basically allows us to um run games on a higher firmware. As well, we're gonna use no NPDRM if you have a no NPDRM dump. You can either use the L man one or the official flows. I'm just going to use the, um, the official flow one as well, even though I accidentally installed that one. Just make sure you use the uh, version 1.2, no NPDRM. Both of them work, but I prefer the official flow one. But once that is fully installed as well, and you got both of those plugins um, into your R0, you can switch it in and out by hitting L or R on your button pads, but I'm gonna keep everything in your zero since that's where my uh, tie folder is. This is what I'm gonna do right now. Once it's fully done, what we're gonna do is press start on our PlayStation Vita, and now it will restart on the screen. So what I'm gonna do here is let my PlayStation Vita restart, and then we're gonna verify that our plugins are in Vita Shell, and we're gonna rebuild our database, and hopefully we can play some Catherine on my 3.60 Vita, so I'll showcase all of Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, I resetted back my PlayStation Vita and I know it's dying so let me go ahead and get on with the stuff. So what we need to do once your Vita has restarted, we need to go ahead and verify in Vita Shell that our plugins are both into our direct or basically our correct directory. So let's go into UR0, go into our tie folder, and now if we go to our config txt, we should see that no mpdrm and refood is in here. So we have no mpdrm here. We also have refood. So what we need to do now is go ahead and triangle, press refresh live area. Once we get back into the main screen, so we can refresh our game of choice, which is Catherine. So hopefully Catherine will rebuild its database as of right now. And then once um, that is fully done, so refresh two items from my database. If I scroll all the way down, here's Catherine the game that's on 3.69. And just to verify, since I rebooted my Vita, I'm gonna go back into my settings just to showcase that I am on 3.60. And then once I showcase that I am on 3.60, I'm gonna go into system, system information. You can see that I am on 3.60 firmware. If I scroll all the way back out from here, I'm gonna run um, this game Catherine, which is for 3.69. And it's running just fine like this system was on a that said firmware. So this is how you essentially run um, you know, games successfully on a higher firmware on a lower firmware system i should say and even though the game requires a higher firmware so yeah and the only error um i got that right now is only due to the fact that i didn't upload my trophy database and i'll show guy or showcase that right now so so let me go ahead and back out from here and then I'll showcase that the game is now working just fine. So let me go ahead and run it once again. And then the game will be booting up into its main menu and all that fine stuff as well.
so yeah here is the game running now it just had to basically prepare the um application the only reason why it gave me that error since i didn't um rebuild my trophy database but yep here is the game running in real time and yeah that's essentially how you do this process if you guys have any questions on how to do this or you run into any issues please be sure to leave a comment in the video in the link in the description below or in the comment section as i said but with that being said my name is nagaso and i'm signing out thank you guys for watching